Hey everybody, Richard R. Auto Diag, and today we're having a look at a Nissan Navara D40, and we have a flashing airbag light. Right, so first things first, chuck it on for a code scan, and the only one we've got is this airbag B1049, driver's airbag module open. I'm assuming that's something to do with the clock spring. Snap on shore track doesn't know anything. Get rid of that. Go away. Uh, I don't think there's anything else related there. So, let's have a look at this. Uh, we have no live data. Yay. So we literally just have that. Sometimes you'll get live data if they're nice. What ECU we got in it. That gives us a part number. And you can see some resistances and stuff. Should I try something different? Should we plug a launch in or something like that? Yeah, I'll do that two seconds. Right, so we cracked out the old launch. Done a code scan again, just to skip forward a bit for you guys. So it's not boring. It looks like we have the same codes. And we do have read data stream, so we might have half a chance here. So, we've got B1049 again, it's got the zero zero at the end of it. And driver's airbag module open again. It says say pass there, but it's still sat here flashing on the dash at me. Uh, data stream, it's not passenger. Oh, <laughs> it says it had it and it doesn't, brilliant. Anything there? No monitoring data. Uh, what else we got? Functional test, car, computer, don't, don't know what that is. Uh, special functions, trouble diag record. Yeah, just gives that. So I'm going from here on out. Diag tools are fairly useless. I'm not going to bother getting another one out. We could try Bosch or Autel or I don't know any number of different ones that we've got floating around, but no. Oh, right, what we're going to do is we're going to take all this cowling off. So I'm going to get some tools and have a look and see what it is to do that. Right, so we've got a couple of uh, Torx 20s, the little star-shaped one, and they are up in those couple of holes there. And I don't know, I assume, it's just sort of pull apart. So that comes away. Coins falling out everywhere, right? Let's get this off out of the way. I don't think I'm the first person to ever taken this car apart, you know. Right. So will that top come out? I don't suppose it really matters. Right, what we got? Sorry about that. Um, right, so I got a yellow plug sat right here. Usually yellow plugs are to do with the airbag. Maybe I'll have to see if I've got a a wiring diagram to see what's what but I would imagine even if I take that yellow plug off it's still gonna say open circuit it probably wouldn't change anything but uh, right let's split this apart and have a look right so yellow plug disconnected just so anyone wants to know you have to take this grey plug off first and then you can take the yellow plug off just by pushing in the, the little bit normal connector stuff we still have open circuit codes we still have a flashing light so some of these five wires that are in here so we got a yellow with a gray above it a black with a red above it and then a brown on its own at this end so two of them are going to go to certainly the airbag in the steering wheel i just had a quick look on here so i've got pin 10 and 11 which is going to be on the airbag side and it shows pin 30 and 23 which is what we're actually looking at now and on that plug it's a bit blurry isn't it but 
23 and 30 are the end two. So these end two here, that's 23 and 30 if it'll focus. No, it doesn't matter. Right, so I'm fairly confident with that wiring diagram because it's genuine. I am just going to put a resistor in here, knock off the ignition, put a resistor in here and see if we can get the light to go off and the code to clear. And then we know that everything up to this point is good. I dare say it's probably the clock spring if that works. Um, but I might just whip the airbag off just to show you guys and we can, we can bypass at the other side of the clock spring. And if we still get the fault code there, then it has to be open circuit and we can do some open circuit checks anyway there. We've probably got high resistance doesn't really matter I'll get some stuff to do that right so I've pinned up into the the yellow and the grey one on the end of the connector here it's too bright isn't it anyway gone into a little SRS bypass thing out of one of these kits you know got all the wires and stuff if you ain't got that and just in case that one's not the right size you can just buy little packs of little resistors I got various different types of doing different things but now we go read fault code and we've got no DDCs and also no code uh, light on start it up and we still have no light on so we know that we're all good up to here because this is now pretending to be our airbag so we know there's nothing wrong with the modules nothing wrong with the wiring all the way back there we've either got a problem with the clock spring or this um, I say we can do the same test we can try and put this the other side of this clock spring and if the code comes back or won't clear then we have to have a problem in the middle um, and then yeah we can do a resistance check my money's on it's going to be this clock spring but we'll just do that for the sake of the video anyway right so I've taken the airbag off now that comes out can you see this I'll move my finger around at this hole in the bottom of the steering wheel here. Door up a bit. You see that screwdriver? That's what you're doing. Push in there, and then all you do is obviously your airbag would be in place there on the front of it. So you push the screwdriver in through that hole to press that, that sprung loaded thing, and then you can pull your airbag forward a bit. Now when you pull it forward, you're going to have a couple of wires attached. There's just a push-on terminal here and one there. Right, so I said take those two off and then I've got this looped into this connector. And lo and behold, our light is flashing again. And I dare say if this reconnects, it's best looking for the thing. I suspect there's probably a code in there. I've probably just had a fit because I've uh, had it disconnected. Anyway, that's flashing again, which is bad. So we'll check the resistance between this side of the plug and this side of the plug. I'll go get a multimeter, set it up so I don't bore you, and we'll check that. Right, realised I was a Muppet. I have plugged the yellow plug back in that side, um, but I dare say we're going to have the exact same thing and staying on staying on flashing uh, go back into our airbag module current airbag module open and that's with a bypass this side so right okay i'll get my multimeter and we'll do the the test in between and i'll show you that it's open circuit or so potentially just really high resistance. Multimeter set up there, down there, up here. Oh well. We put it in the other one, the yellow one. Oh well on that wire. So we're open. And ooh. so we're on that one. Oh well. And Oh well on that one so we're open circuit throughout here I did pull this plug apart sometimes they got little devices that do stuff inside of these but usually it shorts them together um, when the plug is unplugged 
so but i had a look inside and there's nothing going on there so we are definitely open circuit inside of here this is going to need a new clock spring so all that's going to entail is taking the uh the center nut out of there pop the steering wheel off take the clock spring out put a new one in make sure it's all you know centered up straight and you put it on straight and all the rest of it but it's going to be the fix for this car right right bit of a brucey bonus here so we've got the old one off we've got the new one here obviously you've got your couple of connectors at the bottom you've got a release there are two screws through the holes either side and at the top there's one little push down clip which goes through that and then you can pull the whole lot forward once these connectors are all off then where these little side pieces go in a little white tab at the top and the bottom and that should just slot into place click into there and go into its original things Let's see if we can get that that little clip there you push it down and the same on the bottom try it one-handed and then it comes out so we've got all that and uh yeah we'll just be fitting this back up steering wheel is straight when it came off the wheels are straight on the car when it came off push that up we'll take our little securing thing out that stops this spinning and then put it all back together oh, the nut in the middle was a 19 mil so that's pretty uh pretty self-explanatory pretty simple and there we go finished article Steering wheel back together, airbag pushed back on and plugged in, and we're all good. No airbag light, that's the old squib, junk, all done. Thanks for watching, coming on to the next one.